Hello, friends. As you can see, the lighting's not very good, uh, but I did that on purpose because I'm just going to clean up my little space that I do live with so you guys can see uh, what I do before we go live typically. And let's get these lights going here pretty soon. So I'm just going to be walking around, hanging out, and uh, waiting for everyone to join us. Got that light going. Also, when you guys get here, make sure you introduce yourself. And also, if you're here early, we are going to be stretching. All right, we're gonna be stretching. You don't need any equipment. And I would love it and appreciate it a ton if you guys would share this link with somebody that you know that definitely needs to stretch and or needs to kind of relax today, okay? So I'm gonna keep cleaning up my area and get ready for the live. Go ahead and share that link with your friends. How's it going guys? If you are here, make sure you introduce yourself. I'm just live a little bit early so that you guys can see how I uh, clean up my area before we go live, you know? Gotta keep the area clean so I don't get dog hair everywhere. Hi Jess, how are you? Oh yeah, all the dog hair. How's it going, everybody? I hope you guys are excited to stretch and get nice and fit today. I'm just cleaning up my area and getting everything set up for the live that we're going to start in three minutes. Oh, yeah. Get a little vacuuming going, guys. Just waiting for everyone to jump in, and I'm gonna show you how I clean up my area. I love vacuuming so much. I wish I had more carpet to vacuum, honestly. How you guys feeling? I'm just cleaning up my area. You guys need a little... Oh, there you go. Now you guys are nice and clean. Look at that. My dog also hates the bathroom. Woo! Getting clean in here. Oh, yeah, buddy. One minute, everybody, one minute. Luckily today, guys, all we're doing is some nice, long, stretchy time because we need it. All right, Thursday, nice, stretchy time. We're gonna wait two more minutes and I need a huge favor from you guys. One, if you're here, say hello. Right now I see Jess. What is up, Jess, how are you? Alex, you're just always here hanging out. Love the energy you're bringing. Cha-cha, so glad you could make it. And we should do a vacuum workout. And Lauren, it is so good to see you. It has been just a minute. I hope you're doing well. I know uh, if you guys don't know, Lauren's on a ship. You know, she's on a boat. Boom, boom. I can't say the rest of the words, but yeah. So if you're here, make sure you like the video. Make sure you say you're here because I'd love to know that you're hanging out with us today. And we're live and we're stretchy timing. All right. Your body needs this. And uh, 
again, we'll start in about 30 seconds. Also, share this video with anybody you need, uh, you know that needs to stretch because anybody can do this today, all right? This is for everybody. Technically, everyone can do every day, but sometimes snatches and stuff scare people away who don't typically do the fitness, the CrossFit. Not anymore. Stuck in a hotel room for 14 days without being able to leave. I'm losing my mind. Well, Lauren, I'm hoping that we can bring some sanity into your life. Please feel free to ask 1 million questions, and I'll ask all the viewers the same questions. And uh, World, if you are watching this, anybody from the gym, if, if you're not watching this live, make sure you uh, shoot a text message or maybe some memes to Lauren Hayes because she's stuck in a room for 14 days. And that rhymed without me even trying. So and if, if you if you didn't think I'd try to lie, I was gonna try to keep rapping, but it didn't work. So yeah, spend your days texting memes to Lauren Hayes. Look at that, yeah. All right guys, so without further ado, let us stretch and let us give love to the bod that we got. Take care of this thing, all right? So let me scoot back. Let me get in a nice, like, nice little view. Let me scoot this bad boy down because you're just gonna need to see my bod. And we got my timer and my fitness. And let's get it, team. All right. So pretty gentle day. We're going to love the bod. Let me get my timer out. And we're going to start with something to just get the blood flowing and kind of get our body awake, OK? And what that's going to look like is we're going to do this for four minutes. Hopefully you guys can see me. I'm actually going to scoot the computer just up just a little bit. Boom. All right. All right, everybody. Now that you hear what I want you to do is I want you to take a big deep breath in. And as you take your deep breath, you're going to reach your arms over your head. So it's going to look like this. And then you're just going to let your body drop. Don't push it. You're just going to exhale and go. And we're just relax however you want. Okay. Inhale. And relax. And we're just going to go nice and slow. And we'll hold. And in. And out. And in. And out. And in. And out. Good. And just keep going, guys. I'm going to talk a little bit. You guys keep. Breathing nice and deep. I just wanted to share something with you guys. And just in case you guys are, you know, struggling with everything that's going on or, again, losing your sanity, maybe in a room, something I challenge you guys to do that we do a lot of in sports psychology is some positive affirmations. And if you're not sure how to build them, you know what, I'm not 100% sure on everything about positive affirmations, but something that I like to do which I did the other day, just I was pretty dang stressed out, I'll be honest, is I was getting really, really overwhelmed. Uh, I felt myself getting down, and I, again, I was getting overwhelmed just on kind of life and the things that are happening in my life, if you guys don't know. I am looking, uh, I have to move for my wifey. Don't worry, humanity friends, I will commute to here. Nothing, you, you know, just keep seeing my beautiful face. But it's just, you know, stressful. Moving is always stressful, finding a home, etc. And, you know, learning the, the renting process and things like that. So what I did is I went back into some of my notes and some of my studies, and I was like, oh, you know, maybe I can do some positive affirmations because I don't think everything is really uh, that bad. Not according to, like, COVID and all that, but I mean personally. Um, so... What you do, what I did, you can try this out, is I thought about what's going to bring my mood up. What is going to make me feel a little bit uh, better? And something that always makes me feel better is gratitude and really listing all the things that I'm grateful for. So I started with just I am grateful. You know, I'm grateful for a lot of things, but I just said I'm grateful. So I was taking my dog on a walk, and I repeated I'm grateful about one million times. And now, again, the move is very stressful. But instead of saying I'm stressed, I'm stressed and overwhelmed, I said I'm excited. You know, Some, sometimes being uh, nervous for something or having anxiety, it's very similar 
to excitement physiologically. So I said, I'm grateful and I'm excited. I'm grateful and I'm excited. And again, I was also a little bit overwhelmed with the process of maybe, uh, you know, renting this place out or having to, to hustle, you know, to, to figure something else, to figure something else out. Um, so I just repeated to myself, I'm grateful, I'm excited, and I'm ready to learn. And it might seem silly to some of you guys. Oh, we are done in three, two, one, and go and everybody just go ahead and take a seat. And we're gonna do something nice and easy. We're going to sit here in a nice L position and you're going to reach for those toes. And we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit. Um, so I told myself the entire walk, I think I walked for an hour with my dog. And I said, I'm grateful, I'm excited, and I'm ready to learn. And again, it might seem silly to some, but it really helps. It's kind of like meditating, you know, you just typically when you meditate, you're not thinking, right? You're supposed to think about nothing or think about only your breathing. Um, but this really helped me feel those things. You know, I felt, I felt grateful and I felt excited and I felt ready to learn. I know it seems silly. So if there's anything going on in your life, you guys know, you're not, uh, maybe you were let go uh, from your position or, you know, as in Lauren's case, maybe you're stuck in a hotel room. Um, just try to think about what you're feeling and what would be the positive piece of that. Again, I was getting down on myself for things that I might not have instead of being grateful for what I have. So again, that's where that I grateful, I'm grateful came from. And you guys don't have to use my my affirmation, right? You can use your own and you can create your own. Um, and I'd be happy to chat with you guys if this sounds like something you're interested in, but it really, really helped. Um, and I've been repeating that to myself still, you know, every so often I'll feel myself slipping and, and I'll be like, nope, Roderick, you are grateful, you're excited and you're ready to learn. So yeah, guys. Change is definitely uncomfortable, and I know that's something we've all experienced, which uh, it's kind of crazy that the world is experiencing the change at, at the same time. You know, typically it feels like just you are going through something, but you can really feel like everyone's going through this. So it's really good, guys. Don't forget, mental health is as important as your physical health. So if you guys are really feeling down or something, seek out, you know, some professional help and reach out to your friends and family. Reach out to me if you want. I'll send you pictures of my dog if that makes you feel better. But yeah, guys, so find a positive affirmation and, and repeat that to yourself. If you guys can, I just can't, I'm not flexible enough. If you can fold, fold all the way down, absolutely do it. This is about as far down as I can go. And we're here for another 90 seconds. Uh, and I'll just keep talking to you guys. I'm actually gonna move just so my head could be straight ahead. There you go. Boom. Yeah, so I hope you guys are all doing well. Deep breaths. One minute, everybody, one minute. Please feel free to share this video, guys, with somebody that you would that you think that would find value in this. That would be amazing. I appreciate you guys being here. It's very nice to stretch uh, when there's people actually here and talk when there's when when there are people here. Sometimes we'll do these lives and there's no one in here and you're just talking to yourself in hopes that uh, someone who watches it later will <laughs> appreciate the fitness. So thank you. You could literally have been doing anything except going outside this quarantine, but you are here with me and I appreciate it. So thank you guys for stopping by and stretching and taking care of your bodies because that is very important. 10 more seconds, everybody. We've been here for almost four minutes. Deep breath in three, two, one, and let us relax. And let's go ahead and just go, and you can kind of transition however you'd like, but we're going to transition into a long lunge position. And what that's going to look like is we'll go left leg first, and you guys can keep your hands on the floor. You guys can put an arm up here. You can come up here. You can use nothing. And we're going to hold this for two minutes. All right? I'm going to start 
opening up here. You can also use the elbow to kind of drive that leg out, but just find a comfy spot and hang out. And if you guys do have any questions, you know, feel free to shoot them on here and I'd love to answer them. What I can also do is I can pull up our live right here so I don't have to get up and see your questions and I can see them right here, team. So any questions, again, shoot. I am here for you, team. Nice, nice. We got seven, seven people stretching with us. Who is here? If you guys are here, make sure you like the video and comment in that chat so I know you're here. And I have this live pulled up, guys. Don't worry, the timer is still going. Uh, but if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, shoot them here on the live chat so we can hang out and talk. And if no one has questions, I'm very curious on what you guys are all eating for dinner. Hi, Rob. Hi, Shannon. Hello. So nice of you to drop by. Oh, that's a good one. Cha-Cha uh, says, what's everybody's part of the body that needs the most attention? So like what part of the body is just maybe the most sore, most tight? I know for me, it's definitely going to be my hamstrings uh, that are really feeling it from this week. What about you guys? That's a great question. Thanks, Cha-Cha. Also, Shannon, I hope that uh, Scott is also hitting some of these stretches with you. I'm so glad you guys could join. And again, Thursday is always our nice light day, guys. We always need a middle of the week kind of rest, chill, and just kind of take care of the body. So thank you guys for also taking care of that body. Let's go ahead and relax and switch sides. Right side, team. Ooh. It's always tough once you finally finish loosening up one side and kind of suffering that pain. You go to the other side and it's tight and you have to do the process all over again. Whew. Also, if you guys are on the iPhone or uh, mobile device, to chat, you just go ahead and right underneath the video, it says live chat. So you can click on that um, and then you'll be able to chat even on your mobile device. Those of you on the computer, I know it's probably kind of tough to prop up your computer and then run over there to type stuff. So I hope you guys are feeling good. And I am very interested on what part of the body you guys are feeling it most. And if you guys aren't watching this live and you're following along, please comment down below the part of your body that you think needs the most attention due to either tightness or soreness for the week. <sighs> Big deep breaths team. And it looks like we have uh, someone new in here. You guys have got nine people. So whoever just joined, make sure you say hello to Jess, Alex, Cha-Cha, Lauren, and Shannon. They're all hanging out with us. They've been here since the beginning and stretching. Lauren says, my hip flexors from laying and sitting all day for the past six days. Yep, I would think that those need some love. Now, this will help that a little bit. This isn't exactly... The hip flexor, I mean, you got multiple muscles for your hip flexor, but I know exactly what you're talking about. For that guy, you have to modify this stretch just a little bit. And you know what, just since Lauren said something, Lauren, we will do our hip flexors next. I had originally planned to do this stretch two minutes on each side, two rounds, but good call on the hip flexors. Let's go and modify slightly since you're here in the live and those bad boys need some love. We can't, uh, we can't let you leave without getting some love on those hip flexors. All right, guys, so now what's gonna change for our hip flexor stretch is instead of going into like a long position, like so, you're going to keep your knee and your hip in line and you're going to squeeze your glutes forward. And you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that for two minutes instead of another long lunge, okay? And that's gonna be so valuable to those of you guys sitting down um, majority of the time. I said my lats are feeling a bit sore. Oh, hips and calves, nice. We are gonna be hitting the hips right now, which is awesome for Shannon. Um, Alex, for your lats, that's gonna be a tough one. Stay after class and let's talk and kind of, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Yep, yep, you guys, I think you know what word I'm trying to say. Like when you 
oh man, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, at the end of class, you and I will talk about some other lap stretches you can kind of do on your own. We are hitting one, but it's kind of be it's gonna be like a combo of tricep and lat, and that's like where we go over the head and we kind of reach. So that might hit them. If it doesn't hit it enough, please let me know and stay after and we'll talk about it. And we're getting a few more. Again, guys, make sure you're active on squeezing the glutes. So notice I'm not relaxed here like this. I'm squeezing forward and I'm feeling that right here. So hips and calves. We will hit calves soon. We're hitting those hips right now. We got lats. I took this out, so I'm feeling good. Just some need some good all around. So just good call. Good job jumping in this class. That is awesome. Also, I'm loving all the comments today, guys. I do really appreciate that you guys are chatting on here. Um, it definitely gets pretty tough to do these classes and there's not much chat going on. I know most of the time we're like really working hard uh, and we don't have a ton of time to chat, but when you guys do chat, just know that it really helps energize me um, for you guys, you know, because it's like, yeah, getting all these people talking and, and hanging out. So it kind of feels like we're back at the gym, hanging out and chatting. I wish I could see your beautiful faces. Um, so also, uh, I, just, I can see your beautiful faces. While you guys are stretching, take a pic of you stretching and uh, shoot it on Instagram and tag me. That'd be sweet. And I can see it. It's like we're hanging out together. And let's go ahead and switch sides, guys. We're just switching. Timer is up and boom. Oh, yeah. And I don't know why I ever thought about just bringing my phone so I can see the chat from here. So I don't have to get up every time. That's awesome. So we're hitting those hips. We're hitting calves next. We're going to get lats a little bit later, and hopefully it's good. Is there anything else you guys would love to do? I am totally cool, just like in like a real CrossFit class. Not that this isn't real, but in person, I will typically modify uh, for people who have specific needs and issues. But if I don't know your guys' uh, things that are kind of bugging you, etc., I can't modify. So even if I don't modify for the whole class, I can modify for you specifically if you either chat or let's say you comment later tonight when you're doing this and you want a modification, you can text me, you can call me, or you can uh, shoot a comment, and I'll jump on there, or one of the coaches will jump on there and give you some modification options. Even if it's not about today's workout, maybe you guys are in your living room and you're like, man, I really want to work out my biceps, you know? Just shoot a message on one of the, the videos and one of us will respond as soon as we can, team. Shannon, you should do a Zoom barbell and film for your YouTube channel. We missed your face too. Shannon, I have been thinking about doing that. like. Legit, before I jumped on Zoom, I was like, ooh, I wonder if I put my Zoom, my phone on like a Zoom and have the YouTube live so it's like I'm looking in the same direction uh, and I could just work out with you guys. I think that would be super awesome. Uh, I'm going to keep throwing around ideas and seeing what would be the best uh, to make sure that still there's quality on both of them because I want to be able to coach you guys and hang out. Uh, but yeah, awesome. I do miss you guys lots. I think about you guys every day. I just close my eyes and pretend we're lifting heavy weights and slamming bars. We'll only have a few more seconds on here, guys, until we're going to jump into a nice little calf stretch. Actually, one of my favorites, and I love doing this with a kettlebell. However, since we're going no weight today, it's going to be all body weight. So this one's a little bit odd, team. You're going to put your foot flat like this. I'll do it from the side first. So, And I'm sitting on my other foot, and then I'm just going to put my weight over my knee, Okay, like I'm doing a cannonball almost. Let me show you guys from this. So I'm sitting on this foot, but then I'm going to put my weight on this. And I'll do it from straight ahead, sitting on this foot and pushing my weight over. And again, don't push too hard, guys. Just be nice and gentle with it. And we're going to hang out here for two minutes. All right. I am loving it, guys. Thank you so much for coming to this class. I could not, I can't thank you guys enough, team. Also, tomorrow, if you guys, uh, don't know, on Fridays we always do clean, clean work. Uh, so if you want to work on your cleans and your positions, it's going to be a good day. And also on Tuesdays, on Tuesdays we do a kind of just lower body crush session, you know. Uh, as most of you guys know, I always believe in movement before anything, right? We focus on our mechanics and we move well. And that will transfer over to getting stronger and building strength. Um, However, I do know that some of you guys really like that sore feeling. Now, I'm not saying soreness is necessary for building uh, muscle and strength, 
but I know where you're coming from because I kind of like that sore feeling on like some days. You know, I don't want to be sore every single day, but I know some of you guys miss that. So Tuesdays are the days where I really try to push the, the lower body um, to getting a little bit of soreness and just absolutely just one of those crush ourselves workouts. So if you guys enjoy that and you guys want your lower body to be sore, this upcoming Tuesday, we're going to, well, I'll just say it. We're going to try to get a thousand squats within the hour. Now, don't worry. Don't be alarmed. If you're like a thousand squats, no way I want to do that. You can modify. We're going to be doing some EMOM, some AMRAP, and we're going to try to accumulate those thousand squats. And we're going to try to do it um, as consistent as possible. Okay. Now, if you don't want to do a thousand because you haven't been doing squats for a while, or if you're brand new, or like let's say you brought your buddy who's never done CrossFit, and uh, you say, hey, come do a thousand squats with us on Tuesday. I'm going to recommend against doing those thousand. But if you're someone who's been doing barbell consistently and those CrossFit classes, you guys will be sore, but you'll be just fine. Let's go ahead and slowly come out of that team and let's switch sides. So yeah, on Tuesday, guys, we're going for the big zero, 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 1,000 air squats. I think we can do it within the hour. Two minutes on there. Let's see who we got. Cha-cha Tuesdays are soreness. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. <laughs> oh, that's good. Hashtag mean girls. Great movie. Ooh, guys, have you, what movies, I, I know I'm not the only one who's watching like 10 times more movies than normal. Uh, some notable movies I've watched during uh, the quarantine. Uh, Onward, I, like, it, it's on Disney Plus. Totes Adorbs, loved it, got me in my feels. Like, first 10 minutes, I'm in my feels already. Um, so that was a really good, like, family-friendly Disney. This one, not family-friendly at all. Great, I think it's rated R. It's called Shop Collar. Uh, it's about, like, games and stuff. It's pretty cool. And uh, I've watched, like, 17 romantic comedies. Those are my favorites. Let's do that, guys. Name either a few movies that you've watched during this quarantine or your favorite uh, romantic comedy. For me... I just told you guys my movies that I've watched. Uh, favorite romantic comedy, The Proposal, hands down. And hands down, The Proposal. Best romantic comedy. I bought it and I had it on my TV saved. So we're almost done with this stretch team. I want to see those chats. I know you guys can angle stretch and chat. You just do this. Or let's see it. So I expect, I want to know Alex, Jess, Cha Cha, Shannon. Lauren, Jess, I think I said those names already, but I'm going to say them again. All right, we got Crazy Stupid Love. Oh, my gosh, yes. Yes, Steve Carell and, um, oh, he's very handsome. What's his name? Come on, come on. Why can't I think? Guys, I don't know what's wrong with my brain today. I can't think of words, and I can't think of famous, uh, good-looking actors. I know you guys know his name. Anyway, I also love that movie. All right, guys, let's go ahead and slowly relax out of there. And we're going to be moving on to a pec stretch. So this one's going to be kind of hard to chat on. I will lead the conversation while I do the pec stretch. If you guys haven't done – Ryan Gosling, there you go. If you guys haven't done the stretch, make sure you check it out real quick. You're going to go in a push-up position like so. You're going to extend one arm out. You guys can have a flat palm or you can internally rotate. If you're like, Roger, what's that? Get your thumb and go thumbs down, internal rotation. So you can do either or, hand flat or internal rotation. And you're going to push your body over that. I like to go internally rotated. Ugh. So blind side, yep, love it. Sandra, uh, Sandy Bullock fan. I am also, I'm more of a Ryan Reynolds fan, but Sandra Bullock is good. Miss Congeniality, great movie. All right, Contagion. Harry Potter's Jumanji, Point Break. Dang, Lauren is on the movie game. I think that's what happens when you're quarantined inside a room for 14 days, you know? Lauren, uh, also, I challenged Lauren to doing a thousand push ups. Lauren, how are the push ups going? I forgot to start the timer. Let's keep on holding, team. Nice stretch. Dirty dancing for the first time ever. Nice, nice. I'm digging it. Nice, 300 push ups so far. Heck yeah. Nothing better to do than the fitness in quarantine, everybody. I love it. Great job, Lauren. Uh, Cha-Cha, I don't see any movies that you, you haven't said anything. Shannon, 
Let's hear your movies. Cha Cha says, we started the Harry Potter a few days ago. Today, last one. So much nerd. <laughs> nice. I have never, I've only watched the first Harry Potter team. I've only watched one of them. That's it. I just haven't gotten myself to watch the others. Ooh, man, this is feeling good on the shoulders. My shoulders need some love badly. All right, Shannon, did you say your movies yet? Mama Mia? Uh, I haven't seen that one. I heard it's pretty good. My mom went to the theater and watched that one. RIP theaters. We're almost done, guys. Um, bad in movies. I do like the proposal. Yes! For those of you who have watched the proposal, what's your favorite scene? All right. If you guys are familiar with the proposal, uh, in the movie, there is a male stripper, and he is Oscar from The Office. He's the same actor. That's where I get a lot of my dance moves from. So, you know. All right, guys, slowly relax out of there, and let's switch sides. Ooh. Pretty Woman. Yeah, that's a good movie, too. Man, you guys are killing it with the movies. I wish these chat stakers, everyone could see all our awesome movies. Every scene with Betty White. Yep, I love it. Uh, Betty White is hilarious. You guys are awesome. I hope you guys are enjoying these stretches. Betty White is a legend. Agreed. Agreed. Ooh, guys, my shoulders are just absolutely done. So I got a question for you guys, another one. What's your favorite thing that you've done during this quarantine? So what's something you've done that you don't typically do that you're enjoying during this quarantine? This is my favorite stretch right now. Yep. Mine too. This feels really good on my shoulders. So what's your favorite thing that you've done during quarantine that you don't typically do? And I know some of you guys are still working like normal. Um, and for that, hats off to you, you savage. Thank you for working during this crazy time. Um, and has anything changed? Is there anything that you've done that you wouldn't typically do because of quarantine? Um, for me, I think I'm doing a whole lot more fitness. And I'm doing so much, I'm playing so much more video games. Um, but I, I'm really enjoying just kind of relaxing because that's not something I typically do. I typically feel like I'm never doing enough. Um, and this is kind of just, you know, I'm just trying to take advantage of being at home and, and playing the video games and, and, and uh, enjoying that. So try my best, team. I'm grateful, I'm excited, I'm ready to learn. I've been outside way more, plus cooking so many different meals without having to plan ahead for the week. Yeah, that is awesome. I'll be honest, guys, the only thing I've cooked this whole time is ramen, uh, and I made a video on it. Go ahead and slowly relax, everybody. Ooh, let's kind of let those arms relax. Oh, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, and now we're going into my favorite stretch ever, the pigeon. Oh, yes. Pigeon on the right side. And the goal eventually, guys, is to get the leg like this. Ooh. So if I get the leg like this, I can't really go that far down. But that's okay. I'm just going to hold that bad boy right here. Let's go back to that chat. Yes, sleeping in has been amazing. I think not even sleeping in, but the fact that I know that I don't really have to wake up that early. Um, so there's no stress when going to sleep. You know, Obviously, stress for the next day and things that I have to do. But it's not like, oh my gosh, I hope I wake up with my alarm at 3.45 a.m. or, you know, something crazy like that. It's kind of like, okay, I can wake up on my own terms as long as I get all these things done. Um, Lauren Hayes, talking to people on the phone or FaceTiming rather than texting. Yeah, that has been really, really awesome. Definitely something that we, that our fast-paced world has kind of, uh, has gone away from, you know. It's been really weird to call somebody. And now after this whole quarantine thing, it's actually a really thoughtful thing to do. 
Uh, I think talking to somebody on the phone or FaceTiming has always been really thoughtful, but I think lives have been going so fast that it was always kind of like a, Hey, can you just text me and said, I got stuff to do. So I agree. That's been really nice. Uh, and you guys feel free to uh, FaceTime me anytime. You know, you, you think sometimes I, I, I say that so that you can feel better, but it makes me feel better too. So I'm being a little bit selfish, <laughs> especially when I call you guys. I'm like, Hey, how are you? And then you're, uh, you talk to me for the next 20 or 30 minutes and I'm like, ha, 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 ha. I'm also getting nice brain benefits from this. Thank you so much. Um, favorite quarantine thing, no traffic. Yo, I have driven to Temecula two times so far and it will be like Monday at 2 p.m. No traffic, nothing, not even, I don't even have to slow down. It is crazy, crazy. Shannon says, yes, on FaceTime FM and virtual happy hour. Yeah. I mean, it's so funny that we've always had these resources, but nothing's ever um, forced us to use them. I don't know if you guys follow like, oh, all right, guys, let's go ahead and switch sides. I don't know if you guys follow like the stock market or anything, but I, I was just curious on how much Zoom, if Zoom was a publicly traded company, and I saw how much they were trading at before quarantine, and I think it was like $38 a share. And now they're trading at like $138 a share because so many people are using it. Um, so it's kind of crazy to see. And it's very interesting. Also, I've been seeing so many more people out and about, not in like a bad way where like not social distancing. I just mean like they're with their family out in the front yard playing games uh, or playing board games or going for a walk. It seems, seems much healthier. Uh, you know, again, obviously it, it sucks that COVID's going on and, and things are crazy and people are losing their jobs and their lives. Uh, but I try, I mean, I feel self, selfish for saying this, but like looking at the silver lining and, and you know, being grateful for the opportunity that some of these people have, like to spend time with their families and things. So yeah, that's cool. I'm glad you guys are having some, some positive from this, you know? I love, I love this stretch so much. What's your, uh, I'm happy for being able to have plant babies. <laughs> yes, you guys have lots of plants in the backyard. I think I have zero plants. I only have two fake plants, three, four, four fake plants. My cat loves it, I'm home. Jess, yep, Zena is the same way. She's actually right here in front. She's stretching too, you guys can't see her, but it's like, I can't remember the last time I just left her hanging out at home. It was. I typically would leave for about four hours, you know, go to the gym, work out, coach the classes, do some personal training, and she'd just be here probably barking at a million people walking by, yep, talking to you. Uh, and now she's like playing all the time. We're, literally, we went on like an eight-mile walk a few days ago. You know, she just loved it. You love it? It's your favorite, huh? Good girl. You're such a good girl. Nice job, guys. Again, don't forget to take deep breaths. And now the best part about this is we're going to do the pigeon one more time on each side, two minutes each side. Oh, and then hopefully you guys can get into it a little bit deeper. Also, if there's anything that I can do for you guys that would be helpful, please let me know. I would love to help you out. I've been trying my best to do more dance videos because it seems like you guys enjoy the laugh. So, you know, I'll keep doing those as, as, as long as they're making people happy. Plus, I love dancing. It makes me, it's hard to be sad and dance. Big deep breaths, team. This definitely feels a lot better the second time around. <laughs> I will keep dancing as much as you guys want. Love it. Funny story, team. I have a friend of mine who was trying, he was trying to convince his wife to uh, buy a gun. He has like multiple, you know, it wasn't his first one. So his wife was like, you don't need another weapon. 
And he put on his Instagram, and he's like, hey guys, give me reasons to, like what reasons could I use to buy a weapon? Um, and I, I had, I guess I chose the winning reason, but his wife, his wife said, I'll only say yes if, if uh, Roger makes another dance video. So if you guys saw my dance video yesterday, that was for my buddy to get a gun and he's naming the gun Rolo. So I thought that was pretty hilarious. All right, guys, one more time on the left hand side. All right, guys, next question, super random question. What was your first car? What was your first car? Or what color, or you don't have to tell me the entire thing, but I'm just curious on what your first car ever was and how did you get it? I feel like everyone's got some cool stories typically on their first, you know, like, oh, it's my uncle's super old this, or, you know, I bought it for, I don't know, my, like my dad, for example, his first car was like a, a GTO that he scrounged $600 to buy. Loving the Q&A. Thanks, Lauren. I'm glad. Uh, I haven't really done this before, the Q&A. I try to come up with questions and stuff, but I typically am asking fitness questions. So today I figured I'd ask just kind of like normal, random questions that everybody can kind of chime into because I really, really love talking to you guys. All right, 1988 Toyota Carousel, hand-me-down, silver, still alive, more than 200,000 miles. Holy crap. That's impressive. That is freaking awesome. See, like that, guys, that's crazy. We just learned about a car that's been alive for longer than, um, it's. I don't know when you guys, whenever you guys were born, I know it's older than me. You guys are pretty much the same age around me. 2004 Silver 200 RAV, my mom upgraded so I could use it. Nice. My mom loves her RAV to take my little brother to school. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I love the, it's at retirement in my parents' house. That's awesome, Shannon. I hope that car just gets to hang out forever. That's freaking sweet. Alex, were you required to take your brother other places as well? Like pick him up? All right, guys, go ahead and slow and relax. And we're going into another one of, I mean, this is, I, I love some of these stretches so much just because of how they make me feel. It doesn't mean I love doing them. I just love the benefit I get from them. So straddle, and you're going to, if you guys need to get wider, you'll scoot yourself like that, and we're holding. Let's see. A 2008 red Audi A4, which one of the nicest cars at a seamer to put it for a yearbook? 2008, which, which one? One of the nicest car. Oh, ha, ha, ha. that's freaking awesome. And how did you get it, Lauren? That's important information. <laughs> yeah, Alex, uh, my sister is in here too, Cha Cha, and uh, she drove me everywhere too, which was nice. My dad bought it for me. No special story. Uh, that's pretty freaking special, dude. That's sweet. Uh, what happened to the car? Where is it now? And again, if you guys are more flexible than me, you can put your elbows on the ground. You can reach your hands up. I can't get my elbows to the ground just yet. I think by the end of the four minutes, I'll be close, but... All right, guys, I'll tell you my first car ever was a 2001 Toyota Corolla. And I actually bought it with like my life savings. It was getting more expensive repairs so I traded for another car. Yep, I did the same thing with my Jetta. I had a Jetta and it was ridiculous. That German engineering, man, they really get you. But yeah, guys, I have that Toyota Corolla, no cruise control. No power windows, nothing. But it felt good to buy with my life savings. Oh, yes.
Jess, what was your first core? Core. Jess, Jess didn't say car yet. Jess, what about you? Lola. I don't think I've ever named my car, everybody. I don't think I've ever done it. One day, one day I'll get a car and I'll name her. Also, uh, I wouldn't plan on doing this, it just feels really good. If you guys wanna stick an elbow on your quad, my quads are pretty dang tight, so kind of just getting some mashing at the same time of kind of leaning forward and getting a nice hamstring stretch. 1990 Nissan Maxima, age 17. My mom controlled my bank account and bought it to surprise me with my summer camp money. Yeah! Nothing like a surprise but from your own money. That's pretty awesome, though. Now, Jess, it's important. It's, a, it's an important question. Were, did you know that, did you have plans for that money? And then your mom bought the car and you were like, that was super awesome, I got a car, but I had plans. Or were you like, okay, this is cool, like awesome. Again, guys, we're here for four minutes. So we have 41 seconds left. Nice. You just full sent in summer. You just full sent at summer camp, uh, and then boom, you had a car. I like it. That's awesome. And what happened to the car? Where is it now? All right, guys. We're going to slowly bring those legs together. Whew. That was a nice big stretch. And we're going to do what is called a, I think it's called a saddle, where you're going to have your feet flat like this, and you're going to sit down on your feet, and you're going to lean back, and you should feel the stretch in your quads. Now, something important to know on this one is you don't want to go all the way back and have your back like open like this, like it's, it hurts and you can barely hold it. You want to actually try to squeeze your tummy down. So if you can get all the way down, just make sure you're also squeezing your tummy down. And we're hanging out here, guys, for another four minutes. It was a few years of savings. I broke it. <laughs> like it, it was total door, or like you just tried to work on it and it didn't work. Also, note, guys, which quad is tighter on this stretch? My right side is way way worse. Slid into a snow bank and ruined the alignment. Well, you know, you, when you're drifting on a snow bank, you just full send it. You just gotta send it. Oh, yeah. Woo! So I expect to answer a team, which quad is feeling tighter? For me, it's the right side. Right side is way worse. <sighs> deep breaths, everybody, deep breaths. Left. Left. I guess I'm the weirdo just with that right side feeling it. Keep holding, team. If you notice that I started at the bottom now, I'm kind of coming up. It's just because I felt it on the lower back a little bit too much. So I wanted to kind of squeeze my core down and start back over. Both are smooth, honestly. Right side also for me also looks buffer. Probably right though. <laughs> Isn't it crazy, guys, how we compensate and shift and shimmy and we can do the same things and be sore in different spots. The human body is just blows my mind. Four minutes of this team. We have two minutes left. We are halfway there. And I'm already halfway there, halfway there, halfway there. Name that show and episode team. And I'm already halfway there, halfway there, halfway there.
I know we're not doing a whole lot of 